Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Array Methods 12 for part 5 of module 1, and we're going to write a function called find smallest element. So we've got an array of numbers, we want to find the smallest number in that array. So first thing we're going to do is sort out the edge case. If the input array is empty, meaning the length is equal to 0, then we're going to return 0. Otherwise, we're going to assign as the smallest element a variable called smallest, and we're going to set that equal to the array's 0th value, or first value anyway. After that, we're going to iterate selectively over the rest of the array, which is to say i is going to be equal to 1, i is going to need to be less than the array.length, i++. Plus plus. And again, what we're doing here is just assigning one of the elements to be the smallest. This may be the smallest, but it may not be. And so in order for us to check to make sure that it is the smallest, we're going to iterate over the rest of the array and do this quick little check. And the check is if the current element, um, array at i, is less than smallest, we're going to assume that they're all numbers, if that's the case, then we know we have a new smallest value. So we're going to assign smallest value, or we should say reassign smallest, to be equal to whatever the current value in the array is. Once we get to the end of the iteration, we know we've compared all the possible elements, and smallest will have the smallest element, so we return smallest. And we're in good shape. Write a function called find shortest element. Give it an array, find shortest element, returns the shortest string within the array. So we're going to assume that these are all strings. Also says if there are ties, which turn the first element to appear. We're going to go over in a moment why the algorithm that we're going to do is going to take care of this part no matter what. Uh, if the array is empty, it should return an empty string. So similar to the problem above, this is unlikely to be the case if we just run our algorithm ordinarily. So we'll put an actual if statement to take care of the edge case. If the array length is zero, we're going to just return an empty string. Now at this point, we're going to follow a very similar pattern. We're going to say smallest is equal to, actually let's not say smallest, we'll say shortest, is equal to, and we'll say the first element in the array. We'll say first, means first because this is theoretically the first one. We'll also sometimes say zeroth, and uh, yes, that is confusing. You're probably going to want to choose one or the other, either first or zeroth. <clears throat> zeroth is confusing because if somebody doesn't know about zero-based indexing, then zeroth isn't going to make any sense. Um, but even more likely than that is they might just not understand what you say. You say zeroth and they're like, he might have said seventh or something like that, or she. So anyway, for variable, eventually we'll find the keys, there they are i is equal to 1, i is going to be less than the array length. For this one, nope, no 4, we're going to need to check to see if the length of the current element, if i, or array at i, dot length, so if the length of the current element is shorter than the shortest length. If that's the case, then we're going to reassign shortest to be whatever the current element is. This will um, go to the end of the iteration, at which point shortest will contain a string that is the shortest element, and they want us to return the actual shortest element. So in that case, we're going to just return shortest. Now you might think that we never did anything with the whole ties situation, and that's okay, because the only way that we're going to replace shortest is in the event that another element has a length that is explicitly shorter not shorter than or equal to, or less than or equal to, it's actually less than. So if we ever find an element that is um, the shortest, but there are other elements that are the same length, like let's say that there was just a single letter E somewhere like here, it's not going to replace A because it won't have a shorter length than A. So edge case, sign a value to the first one, iterate over the rest, compare the lengths, replace shortest if the length is shorter, and then finally after the iteration is done, return shortest. Excellent work, everyone. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.